Hello all, this video is on OLED I2C displays of uh, 128 by 64 pixels. Different sizes are available, 0.96 uh, type is widely available and is of uh, low cost and has uh, two wire interface I2C. There is also 1.3 inch size. These uh, modules were made of uh, SSD 1306 uh, driver. There is also a slim model 128 by 32 size. And in 1.3 inch size, there is also a model with more pins. It has uh, SPA capability. This uh, OLED displays work uh, without uh, backlight and has 128 columns and 64 rows, making 8K pixels. It has got uh, 1K RAM memory organized in 8 pages, that is uh, page 0 to page 7. Uh, each page has uh, 128 columns or segments from uh, 0 to 127 and each column uh, can store a single byte that is 8 bytes of 8 bits of data so put together 8 pages 128 column into 8 bit data uh, put together it uh, it will come to 1 kb ram that is the memory capacity of a ssd 1306 uh, driver inside this oled at the back side of the OLED, the hex uh, I2C address is printed. Now let us uh, use uh, Arduino Nano to connect with this OLED. The connection uh, has got only 4 wires. That is VCC goes to 5 volt and the ground goes to ground. And uh, A4 is uh, SDA and A5 pin of uh, Nano goes to SCL that is uh, I2C interface. No external pull-up resistor is required. These pull-up resistors are provided on the OLED itself. So this is the simple connection. Connect the USB cable to uh, PC and then open the Arduino IDD. There is a I2C scanner to find out the I2C address of the OLED. The description link is given in the description below. You download the I2C scanner and then upload it to Arduino Nano. Select the board as Arduino Nano and processor as old bootloader. And then upload this I2C scanner code and open the serial monitor. Now the scanner will find out the I2C address. It says the I2C address is 0x3C hex. But on the back side it is printed 0x78. So 0x78 in hex, if you write it in binary, it will be 0111 So the LSB bit here is read-write bit. Uh, 0 means write, so we will be writing to OLED. The read-write bit is the LSB, which is not taken into account for address calculation. So uh, leave this uh, LSB bit and then add a 0 at the MSB position and shift it right. So if you do that, it will become 0011 and then 1100. If you convert the binary to hex, it becomes 0x3c. So this is the hex address, you have to use it in the code for the I2C address and not the 0x78 printed on the back of the OLED. Now let us install the two libraries required for the working of OLED. Go to sketch, include library and then open uh, manage libraries and then search for SSD1306. This is the driver used in OLED. Search for SSD1306 and select the Adafruit SSD1306. Select the latest version and then click install. Once this uh, library is installed, the second library that is a support library is the GFX library. Search for Adafruit GFX. This library supports uh, graphic uh, uh, graphic support. Select the Adafruit GFX library and then select the latest version and click on install. Once uh, both these libraries are installed, go to uh, examples and uh, from Adafruit SSD, you can select the example code. We are using SSD 1306 128 by 64 I2C model. So select that model 
and the board we are using is Arduino Nano. The processor should be selected as uh, old bootloader. You can also uh, select Arduino Pro Mini and uh, scroll down the code to change the I2C address as our OLED has uh, I2C address 0x3C you just uh, change this address to 0x3C otherwise you will not get any response and then click on upload this uh, sample code has got uh, all capabilities uh, including a BMP uh, graphic display and a display of text display of uh, uh, graphics and all other functionalities are uh, uh, defined once the code is uploaded you can see the result initially the BMP uh, image is displayed at a fruit uh, image and then the graphic capability is uh, displayed and finally the text capability and the uh, scroll and the other functions everything is uh, defined you can use uh, the part of the code uh, as you want now let us see a simple example to display a string of uh, characters to start with you have to include the wire.h as we are not using spa.h this is not required include wire.h and then the include both the libraries which we have installed Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306 and then we create an object of Adafruit SSD 1306 object we name it as display the constructor uh, accepts an argument which is reset pin of OLED as the uh, our OLED has got no reset pin we use minus one and then we initiate the uh, OLED object using begin function inside this uh, inside the void setup the begin function takes two parameters SSD1306 underscore switch cap VCC that turns uh, internal charge circuitry on and the second uh, uh, is the I2C address and then we use the clear display function and call set the text size different sizes we can set that is a set text size function and then we uh, set the text color as white for a dark background this is very important otherwise you will not see any display then we uh, set the cursor to position that is the xy position x is horizontal position y is the vertical position and then we uh, use the print line function to print the wanted uh, string finally we use the display function call the display function to see the result on the OLED the string of characters uh, is now displayed at the set cursor position we have used the xy coordinates given in the code now let us see the text size set text size in the previous example we have used uh, set text size as uh, 1 which gives a font size 7 by 10 pixels per character now let us uh, change the text size to 2 now the display gives a character at 14 by 20 pixels the text size of 3 will give 28 by 40 pixels and the set text color in the previous code we have used to white for a black background now let, let us change it to black comma white and see the difference now the text is uh, displayed in the inverted mode the default is white uh, and without this that uh, you will not see any display now let us see another example to display numbers hex or uh, decimal base and then ascii characters now we begin the object by providing the uh, i2c address and then the text color is white and the text size we set it as 2 and then we use the print line for uh, with carriage written and uh, print function without carriage written to display the numbers and the second parameter uh, for this function can be used to set the number of digits after dot so display 1.23 we use this as 1.23 uh, comma 2 and then we can specify the base for the numbers as hex dec or ban the same print function can be used uh, the two parameters first parameter is hex value and the second is the base format so to display the hex value ff we use hex 
and to display it as uh, DEC decimal we use the DEC format we can also display ASCII characters from the ASCII table we can get the decimal uh, equivalent to the character we want to display suppose uh, you want to display a, a dollar symbol the decimal uh, number is 36 for the the ASCII is 36 and to display degree symbol it is 248 and to display equal sign it is uh, 61 so from the ASCII table you can note down the decimal value and use the write function which sends binary data to the display you can see the special characters displayed now now in the next example we can see the font capability of OLED so the uh, to use the particular font you have to include the dot h file suppose you want to uh, use this uh, 12 point uh, uh, font uh, font you have to include this uh, header file in this example we are using another uh, font header file for uh, 18 point uh, uh, size initially we create the display object and then we use the begin function and then we use the set font function first to set the font to the 12 point uh, uh, font to display hello world at the uh, xy uh, set cursor position then we use the 18 point header to display that uh, 38.5 uh, digit now let us see the drawing capabilities the next example defines the drawing capabilities of the OLED in this example also we create an object uh, named display and then within the setup function we initiate it using the begin function by providing the I2C address and the set uh, text color that is uh, white that is very important and then we set the cursor and then we use the draw rect function to draw the rectangle by providing the coordinates and the next function is fill rect which uh, draws a filled rectangle and there is also draw round rectangle rect and fill round rect functions draw circle fill circle and then uh, there is uh, draw triangle fill triangle so all this uh, uh, functions can be called to explore the drawing capabilities of OLED. Thank you for watching.